Hello, welcome to the Cloud NGFW video nuggets. My name is Nidhi Pandey and I'm a technical marketing engineer with the Palo Alto Networks. In this video, we will talk about the outbound TLS decryption feature with Cloud NGFW. Today, more and more internet traffic is being encrypted with SSL or TLS. Traditional firewall did not have visibility into the information inside an encrypted packet. Hackers would use this to their benefit to hide threats inside the SSL traffic. Cloud NGFW provides the ability to view inside an encrypted SSL packet as it passes the firewall. You can configure the firewall to decrypt and inspect the SSL traffic outbound to an external site. This functions as an SSL forward proxy. Cloud NGFW uses certificate to establish itself as a trusted third party. Looking at the flow here, when cloud workloads initiate an outbound connection to an external server, firewall will intercept this request. NGFW here behaves as the server. NGFW will then forward the client certificate request to the server and to the server, firewall is the client. Server will send firewall a signed certificate for client. If Cloud NGFW trusts the certificate by server, it generates a SSL forward trust copy and sends it to the client. If firewall does not trust, client sees a block page and a warning that says the site is not trusted. Once the client verifies the certificate, it initiates a session key exchange, which the NGFW can proxy in the same manner. Let's go to the Cloud NGFW console and look at the configuration. To enable firewall to inspect traffic within SSL, you need to set up certificate requests to establish the NGFW as trusted third party to the session between the client and the server. To do that, go to the objects, click on certificate list, and this is where you can add the certificate to be used for TLS decryption. To add a certificate, you can click on add certificate, enter the details here and save it. The Cloud NGF Review can use certificate signed by an external CA or self-signed generated certificate as well. So let's cancel this and go back to the previous screen. You also need to specify the trust and trust profile. To do that, come to the security profiles, select the edit option with encrypted threat protection and select the untrust and the trust certificate. Once you have done that, you can save it and go back to the rules page. Click on an existing rule or you can create a new rule. The option is disabled by default. So you can go ahead and select this option, save the changes and deploy the configuration for the changes to take effect. You can see that in the rule stack, the outbound TLS decryption is enabled. This brings us to the end of this video. Hope you liked it. For more information, please visit our live community page for Cloud NGFW. And thank you for watching.